I don't know, have a surprise for you. I have a couple more Dungeons Dragons came in. This will complete my collection for the cartoon series. Um, Presto came in today, along with Eric, the Cavalier, the Magician and Cavalier. Um, you see some damage here. This was in the bottom of the box. Pressed on top of it, and there was no packing, no cushion. They were just stacked in there, barely fit. You can see a little bit of damage here, too. It's... But yeah, these are these will complete my series on these. And as shown before, um, I do have War Duke. Um, there might be others coming out at some point. I don't know what they're going to do with it. But I mean, these are pretty cool. They each come with their own. Well, you can see here their own you know, dice. And these roll for damage. Any effect that would go like on the weapon, like on the shield for him. Presto. You know, he has his T4. It's happening, he has a different magic that can come out of it. I mean, doesn't that's anyone that's watching a cartoon would know he would just mess up a whole ton. It just is what it is. It's a great character, and I had to think in a lot of fan fiction, I think I'll see grew into being a very strong, powerful wizard. Because there's a reason that Dungeon Master would have chosen them. He had to be like the champions of the realm, so to speak. But on top of them. I also have another little surprise here. I got this a while back. There we go. It's on this. A Gillette's Cube from Honor the Monk Thieves. I haven't opened this yet. I had this for a few months. It is uh, scaled to fit in these figures, as they do have the figures you can see here from the movie. They do have at least this figure in there. Different items that go into the, into the cube. You can see them here, like they have full spaces for them. So you can put just about any figure in there, I'm assuming. Maybe it's just the just a setup for the main main character, I'm not sure yet. But I would like to set these up at some point. You know, I have the figure set up you know, behind me. I'll show this to you in a second again, and you know, and pretty soon Eric and Presto will be joining them as soon as I figure out how and where. Hello everyone, here's the unboxing for the D&D figures, some nice two figures I've got for the 1980s cartoon Dungeons and Dragons. Um, let's start with Eric. And you can see in the back it shows, you know, what we can expect with that, with a shield, his magical effect, and protection. And I believe it's D10. You know, he is a cavalier, so this is a, you know, a class that's not really too current in, this, in the current systems. And here Presto, the magician. You know, he'll come with his, you know, his dice, his D4. You know, his magical effect, his hat. And not quite sure what that is. I have to wait to see what that is when we open it up. Right, so, let's get started with the Eric. I'm going to try to keep this nice and simple this time. Theoretically, there we go. Okay. Okay, the shield. Silicon wrapper as usual. See Eric the Cavalier, his joint is very tight, as is standard sometimes. Like I had with Bobby and some others, you have to kind of work them, they won't go, they actually almost break if you try too hard. So you have to be careful with that. And then just keep working at them and actually start moving. His D10 and his shield with a magical effect on it here. It's very rubbery, almost like rubber cement feel. Looks like it's come right off the shield. You know, that a problem and in the cartoon, he would hold it up, it would activate, and it would protect him from any any blast, especially like Benger, Tiamat, anything of that sort.
you know, the mystical weapons that Dendro is always after because with them he could you know, finally defeat Tiamat and take full control of the realm. There we go. Actually, it worked a lot easier than I expected it to. Until it just snaps right on his arm here. There we go. And we have Eric the Cavalier. Um, a lot of fans feel he should have had a sword, but due to the cartoons of the 80s, they didn't want to you know, give him one. Um, so it's just a shield. But I mean, some fans, they do you know, get, get a sword for him from another figure, depending how they want to do it. One thing looks like his cape will probably come off, but most likely like the shield of the head will probably come, will come off too. If you want to take it off, he never took it off in a cartoon, so that's totally you know, up to yourselves or anyone else who's interested in doing that. Or if you want to go that route. So, yeah, that's Eric. Let's get him to the side. And let's get them presto. Yeah, it's really cool about these two. It's actually so it's cool that they actually came together because they were basically best friends in the cartoon. Like they always had the dynamic the friend dynamics, and I'll go into that you know in a future video when I have everything set up. Um they each had their own dynamics, as anyone. You know as as teens and kids and adults. You know, we all have our own friend dynamics who we get along with, what kind of people we are and it's always oddballs. There we go. And press on the cell thing and his feet are a little crooked here, but I know Avenger, I had a problem with his one foot that was actually I believe it was his left one that was actually curved down. If it had his robe, it would have been very hard for him to you know do anything. But I mean, it looks like you know, it looks like presto has got Pretty much full range of movement. His head's really tight. And the fade does have knee joints in here too. They're very tight. But they're also brand new, so it's kind of to be expected. And as for his items, here you go, you got his D4. But for damage and okay, this is actually hair. Oh, okay, I see. This, this is him. This would be him if he's holding his hat, and then the magical effect would, I guess, come out of the hat. So this, and he would hold it in his hand and you know, cast it. Or, oh, oops, I have I have this backwards apparently. He enjoys the openings for the first time because he can figure it out. But, you can see a nice little you know, key like shape here. You gotta, yeah, there we go. Fit in there. So, yeah, he would you know, put it in his hand here. Push his other hand, and we'd have his magic casting. We also have a small you know, magic burst that looks like it's coming out. Like, he puts his hand over the hat. He put it over it you know, before he'd reach in. As for his hair, because this is what he'd be wearing. See, his hair very similar. So like, that's what he'd be wearing if he puts his hat on. I think it's going to be something I have to work out a little bit and maybe for another video. I don't want to. No. I think I'm going to regret here. So I don't think it's not going to fit on top of that. So it looks like his hair should come off in some way, shape, or form. But right now, that's it's gonna be a problem for another day. <laughs> you know what I mean? All these are they are very detailed figures. They are very nice figures. They are great for posing, for setting up, and I can even play it. Um, they the softer plastic does make them more durable, so it may be harder for children to break them. I don't know when growing up in days we had the harder plastic, and we didn't really break too many of our figures. And we did, but it was a little, you know, work a little bit more. Um, but they also lasted 40 years, so time will tell how long these last. Yeah, and that's all I have for this episode, for this video. 
once again, I'm set up. I'll share that with you and go into more depth on their various interactions and character types. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.